Concatenation joins one or more strings of information together. Which means, in Access, you can join or concatenate information stored in separate fields together in one new field. And you can concatenate from several different objects. You can concatenate from queries or from forms or reports. But no matter what the object, the symbol you use to join fields or text strings together will always be the ampersand. To give you an example of how to concatenate, we're going to be working with information from our contacts table and concatenating the first name, middle initial, and last name fields to display our contacts full name. So jumping back into design view, in the blank field slot, let's begin by typing out what we want to call this particular field. And in this case, it's going to be full name followed by a colon. Next, we want to begin typing out our expression, or what fields we want to join together. And in this case, we want to begin by typing the reference to the first name field. So open bracket, first name, close bracket, and we're joining that with the middle initial field. So typing the ampersand symbol, and then the reference to middle initial, close bracket, and then again, we're joining that ampersand with the reference to the last name field. And just to show you what that looks like so far, let's go ahead and run this query. And it works. It is joining together all the information from those three separate fields. However, it doesn't really look that pretty. And that's because we haven't told Access to add spaces between the information that's stored in each of those fields. So jumping back into design view, in between each individual field reference, we want to tell Access to also concatenate a space. So right after that first name field, I'm going to type another ampersand. And in quotation marks, I'm going to type a space and close quotes. And same thing right after that middle initial field, another ampersand. And this time I'm going to type in open quotation marks period, space, close quotes. So that's what it should look like so far. And when we run this query, for the most part, it looks pretty good, except for when we have contacts who do not have a middle initial. Notice what Axis is still doing. It's still adding that period and an extra space, which of course we don't want. We want that optional if the middle initial field is null. Now there are a couple of ways to get the results that we are looking for. We could use the if function to tell Axis to concatenate one way if there's something typed into that middle initial field and concatenate another way if middle initial is null. Or we can use a slightly easier method, which is adding or using the plus sign around our middle initial fields to indicate when you want null returned if a field isn't filled in. So jumping back into design view, we're going to edit this ever so slightly. Right after that first ampersand, I'm going to begin by typing an open parenthesis. And then instead of that ampersand, I'm going to use that plus sign, which essentially tells Access that the information that we're concatenating inside those parentheses is optional, depending on what is stored inside that middle initial field. And we need another plus sign over here for that period as well. And this time we definitely don't want a space after the period because we're going to put our extra space outside those parentheses because we still want to have a space in between the first name and last name. So that won't be optional. But what is optional is this extra space before the middle initial and the period after that middle initial field. And let's see what we have so far. Let's go ahead and run the query. And bingo, there we have it. If the middle initial field is null, then Access is going to concatenate the information that is outside those parentheses that has those little plus signs. If it does contain information, then it will concatenate the information in those parentheses. And those are several different ways to concatenate inside a query in Access. 
Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.